Hi, so we're here uh, taking a second look at the FXI Cotton Candy, the world's smallest computer on a USB stick. And we've got a new and exciting demo and it also has a new and exciting uh, form factor that you're going to see and an additional port that we didn't see before. So, we're, uh, so Borger over here has um, two different versions or two different sizes of the FXI Cotton Candy. The original one uh, that we saw a couple months ago, uh, you can see uh, looks really small uh, and has the FXI branding on it and really uh, thin and light. But uh, what he's telling us, and we don't, this is not the working plastic, is that it will actually be about this size uh, when it ships out to developers. Uh, because uh, they're going to actually be able to reduce the size and weight uh, to 21 grams or below. It also has going to have a couple of things exposed on it uh, that weren't exposed before. So it has a micro USB port, uh, which is going to allow you to hook up a lot of peripherals directly because the main USB port has got to go into a power source. Uh, and uh, on the other side, it also has a switch uh, for, the, for the Bluetooth, yep. uh, which which we didn't see before. Uh, so it's getting even smaller. Uh, now we have uh, another thing that's interesting to show you, which is that uh, it now supports Ubuntu, uh, which is a great operating system for productivity. And here over here we have um, a hub uh, where we have um, where we have some stuff for our mouse and our keyboard, and that's going straight to the micro USB port. And then we just have a power source for the main USB port. And of course, we have an HDMI output going to our monitor. Now, Borger is just going to plug in the power source. There's no on-off button. You plug in power, it just starts. And uh, over here on our monitor, it's just going to take a moment to power up and boot into Ubuntu. So you can see we've got the latest Ubuntu operating system here uh, and uh, you have a mouse and your keyboard um, and uh, one thing that's really cool about this is it will actually save your state so you can go into hibernation on this and when you carry the drive around with you, carry the, the cotton candy around with you, it's no drive, uh, you, plug it, you plug it into another uh, monitor, keyboard and mouse and you're good to go. Of course, you could, as you know uh, from our previous video, you can also plug it into a notebook or, or a desktop and use it in a, uh, as a uh, virtual machine. Uh, and in the near future, you'll be able to plug it into uh, a phone or a laptop. It's like Agent Smith from The Matrix. It takes over whatever you plug it into. And here you see that it, all, it, all it takes is a keyboard, a mouse, and a screen, and it's up and running. It has Wi-Fi. It has Bluetooth. It has the dual core uh, ARM processor in it. Uh, so a very, very powerful device that is now going to be uh, 21 grams or less. Uh, and it's going to run Ubuntu and also give you the option of running uh, Android Ice Cream Sandwich. So we're, now we're actually trying out booting up Ice Cream Sandwich. And you'll see it's not in perfect condition because it still needs some uh, refinement. Uh, but we're actually going to run Ice Cream Sandwich on Cotton Candy, FX, on the FXI Cotton Candy. So you see it still needs some uh, some work on the graphics uh, part of the port, uh, but we've got full-fledged ice cream sandwich on here, and uh, you can carry it around with you, ice cream sandwich in your pocket, or Ubuntu in your pocket. Uh, so here's yet another thing that the FXI Cotton Candy can do. It can power dual screens. Uh, it's mirror, it, it doesn't support extending onto two different desktops but it will show you the same thing on two different screens. Uh, so here we have a ThinkPad laptop, and you can see that the Cotton Candy is plugged into its USB port, and it's running uh, the ice cream sandwich. That's not ice cream sandwich. Sorry. That's a different one. Yeah. Gingerbread. Okay. Um, so you can cut that. Okay, so here we have the Cotton Candy plugged into a ThinkPad laptop, 
and it's running uh, gingerbread Android uh, in a virtual machine in a window on the ThinkPad and you can also see that the HDMI port is going straight to another monitor um, and the screen has been replicated there. Uh, so this device can actually support uh, two different screens at once and uh, the developers tell us that it's even could be possible in the future through software uh, to have them be show different content so you could uh, you know, write your code in one window and test it in another, play a movie in one window and check your email in another, all through this tiny cotton candy device. So as you can see, the, uh, the graphics prowess of the cotton candy is really, really strong. Um, this is an Ubuntu game and uh, you can actually play it off the cotton candy uh, if you plug in a controller. Um, this one isn't working at this moment, but you can see just how great the graphics are. And, you know, it really shows that this is not just a toy, it is a really, really powerful platform and could even potentially be used as a gaming platform. Wow. So what we have here is we actually have two cotton candy sticks in one computer. And you can see that they're actually running two different independent operating systems on top of this notebook's native uh, Windows 7 environment. So here we've got like a movie running and here we've got Angry Birds. They're both running Android on them. And you can see that we've got one cotton candy here and one cotton candy there. So uh, you can basically have as many different environments as you have USB ports provided that you're plugged into AC and you can supply the power, uh, you, can, you can run a lot of different environments and a lot of different cotton candies on one screen.